So in this video, I'm going to go through how to use the Git Merge tool. Um, this is where, and just to kind of give you a little bit of background, um, Eric had changed a file in his repository. He hadn't done a pull in quite some time. Um, Tim had also changed that file in the last few weeks. And so when Eric tried to pull the code, he got a conflict in this file. And so what I have done is I've just gone in and typed git space merge tool. And that has brought this control up. And it's basically showing me a bunch of stuff. And so I'm going to go through and show you how to actually merge this file and how to read what we're looking at so that everybody has the ability to do this in the future. Now, the first thing is what we're looking at. The, the file up here on the top left is actually Eric's version of this file. The file that is on in the middle is the base version, which is the, the file before Eric or Tim made any changes. So this gives me a, a look at what the file looked like before either one of them made any changes. The file on the right is Tim's version or the remote version that we're trying to pull into Eric's code. And then down here on the bottom is what the thing is going to actually look like once the merge is done. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the file down here on the bottom to look like we want it to look so that we can get this merge conflict taken care of. So what we're going to do is we're, we're focused down here in the bottom. So we are going to go down here and scroll down and take a look at what's going on. So right off the bat, we see that Eric did not make any changes to this line. The base version shows that before Eric got the file, nothing had been changed. But Tim's version of the file actually has some comments in here, and he's added this is employee thing to the top of it. So we basically have the, the, the extra code that Tim had added. Now, if we look down here at the bottom, Git already figured this out. And it didn't really have a conflict here because Eric didn't make any changes to this particular line. So it's already put Tim's changes down here into this code. So this particular change is not a problem. So we're going to keep going down the list. Now, this particular change, if we look at this, it had original code here. Now, there is some meaning to the color codes and the, the basically what I think is going on here is this is blue because there absolutely was no conflict because there was no there was no code here this is brand new code you'll notice these are pink because there actually was a line of code here but you'll notice that Eric's version and the base version so this immediately tells me Eric did not change this particular this particular line in the file but Tim added an and employee or a, and is employee to the end of it well again git figured that out because Eric didn't change the line so it's gone ahead and merged in Tim's changes to that particular line so again everything looks okay for that particular line so now we're going to go down to the next change so here we can see that in Eric's version of the file and the base version of the file, nothing is, is really changed. But over here we can see that Tim added a comment and he's got this if is employee that he's added to the beginning of that form. So if we come down here again, merge, merge or figure that out, the get uh, merge tool, figure that out. And it has already added Tim's code to this line. So we've got his comment and we have the if is employee. And then the rest of it has just been bumped down some. So again, everything is still okay. So now we're at this line. We're going to look here. We've got this. This is looking at a status is less than three. You'll notice Eric didn't change this line. The base version didn't have that line changed, but Tim changed it. Again, everything is okay because this matches what Tim did and everything is good. So we're going to keep going down here. And this is the same thing. Eric didn't make any changes. Tim did change is done now here we have a head that's shown up now this is basically telling me where the actual conflict is so I could have skipped over all that other stuff and gone straight to where the head thing was but this is telling me where git is confused and if we look at this we can see why because Eric modified this line in fact he modified this entire block and has commented out the block of code while Tim has actually gone in and modified the block of code to do something different. And, and you can't really tell it here, 
um, because the just because of the width of the screen. But if we do a control WW and we move up here, if we scroll over to the right, we can see that Tim has added an and is employee, which doesn't exist in the base version or in Eric's version. So what we need to do, first of all, is we need to get rid of the head. We need to get rid of these lines and the end of the conflict. And now we're left with these two versions of the file. This is Eric's version. This is Tim's version. Now, because Eric commented out this whole section, it really doesn't matter what we do here. But, but just in case this gets uncommented at some point, we're going to keep Tim's version and get rid of Eric's version. And so now the file matches the, the final version that Tim had and the version that, that Eric had. We still have our comment lines in here and we have our is employee. So just to kind of finish up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this next line. This is a comment that we, again, do not see in Eric's code or the base version, but we do see it in Tim's version. Everything has been merged in here okay, and so there, there are no more conflicts there. And so at this point, we've gotten rid of the head, which you are going to have to do manually when you're doing this. It just kind of highlights where the problems are. And then we have merged Tim's code into Eric's code, and we've kept the comment. And so everything should be perfectly okay now when we save out of here. And so we're just going to do a shift ZZ and save that file. And then I'm just going to do a quit on these other three up here at the top so that we're back down here to the, the bottom. So now if we do a git pull, actually, yeah, do a git commit. And so now we have committed the code and we fixed the, the conflict that we had.